SNAP is a, a safety net program. Anybody who meets the income requirements for SNAP can participate in the program and they basically get money that can be used towards food. WIC is very closely linked with specific nutrient needs and again has those other benefits as far as educating on what families should eat as well as making sure they have access to things like uh, anemia screening and you know checking the baby's weight and things of that nature. We did some work where we were doing interviews with WIC moms and the first thing every single one said was, I have a job. And that was very telling as far as the experience that they were having of people either implying or saying to their face that they weren't trying hard enough, but they were in a situation where they had a job and they were working, it simply didn't pay enough. It was the most infuriating time in my life. I had served in the military. I'd worked since I was 16. So I had already been paying into the system for nine years. I got divorced when I was 25. I have definitely paid more back into the system since I came off food stamps than I ever got from them. But even before that, we treat it as though it doesn't matter what you've been doing and who you are. For many veterans, there's going to be at least a small period of your life where you're going to need support financially because we don't make very much money. If we make this whole thing so fraught for people who are really just trying to access a basic need. Food is a basic need. Instead, we say, well, so what if you're hungry? You ought to be ashamed of not having enough money. Be people. If that's the only thing you can do, I want you to look around at your neighborhood and please understand hunger is an American crisis. It affects people in every community from every walk of life. So you can support Meals on Wheels, if it's a food bank, if you can pay off school lunch debts, pick whatever works for you and your community. But please feel empowered to make sure your neighbors are eating.